Hi y'all, today we are going to jump right on into this design. So the first thing we're going to do is grab us a text box. I'm going to grab this. I want to do a capital M. We're going to just do one letter. Let's see, capital M. And then I'm going to go and pick out my font. I've been liking this, what is it called? A sing. Okay, so I'm going to do the a sing. And then what I want to do is make it big, 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 big. I think this would do better if you just do one letter. Um, let's see. Do I have my other ones in here? My other one. This one I did. Hold on. Let's put that on another page so you guys can see it. This one right here. It took a while to do that with the words and get. These are each individual elements. And you'll see like when we do the other one. How time consuming that can actually be to do a whole word. So we're just going to do a letter. We're going to start off with the letter. So what I want to do is change my background to, we'll do pink. What I want to do is take my letter and make that white. It can be whatever color you want it to be, though, honestly. But I want to do it in white. Why is keep that thing keeps doing it? Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to duplicate this, this M. And then what I want to do is I want to take it and go into my text effects and I want to make it hollow. If you want to, you can thicken it up a little bit. I thickened mine up a little bit. I just, that's a personal preference, but I just th thickened it up a little bit. So I have another page over here. I'm going to take that page and move that hollow text over here. I am going to change the background color to pink. And then what I want to do now is I want to go and download it. So I am going to download it. Uh, PNG. This is page two done download and I am going back to my first page I am going to bring it in um, and then I'm going to remove the background once it's loaded up so it is loaded up I'm going to remove the background and now I have this right here um, if you're on the free plan Go to remove a BG and let's see, we can, we'll upload that one. And you can do the same thing with remove BG if you're on the free plan and there you go. And you just download it and bring it back over to Canva. So now that we have that removed, what I want to do is add shadows. So I'm going to go over to shadows. I'm going to add a drop shadow. And then I am going to move this out of the way for the moment. And we're going to make this big. I am going to make sure my position that this is on top. And then I'm going to layer it over top. Like so. And you can adjust your shadows. So for the one that I made here, we'll go under this one real quick. I don't need this anymore, so we'll just go goodbye. Um, so the one that I made here. Like this one right here. I did multiple top layers just because I wanted it to have more depth. And we'll do that at the end because you're going to have to kind of go underneath the, this top piece a lot. So we'll wait and do that afterwards if you wanted to have, oh, I'm getting froggy, y'all, more depth. So I'm going to go into elements and I'm going to put all up flowers. I'm going to go into photos. And then I'm just going to pull in all kinds of flowers. You're going to have to do some creative cropping to do this too. Um, so like if I grab this one and put it in here like this. So I don't want anything to be shown outside of here. So what I want to do is make sure that my photo is kind of all the way in there. If you're using that, of course, remove the background. And I always add some more shadows to it just to give it more depth. And see this end piece sticking over here? I just want to crop it down so it, it's at least beneath the uh, top M, the hollowed out M. I'm getting tongue tied. Mm -mm -mm. So I'm going to go into position and then I'm going to move it in between my two M's. And that puts that in there like so. 
And then we'll go back over and pick out some more flowers. How about something? I think I used this one when I like that one too. So we'll go in here and you can go like here. Let's see. We'll go and do this, that with this one and kind of put that in there and do some creative cropping. So I kind of want all that in there. So see if I leave that in there and put it here, you're going to see that coming out the side. So here comes your creative cropping. So I'm going to duplicate this. And I'm going to pull one over to the side here. And then I'm going to bring it all into here. Right? Because I want to see this part. So then I'm going to overlay this one right on top. And then I'm going to bring this down to here. And bring this one over to here. And then what I'm going to do is bring them behind like so. And then I think I need a third one, actually. Like I said, creative cropping, y'all. Duplicate that, bring it, lace it on top, and then bring it over this away, bring it down to here, and that should be a whole one underneath. All right, so now you got that creative cropping, and uh, they do have that new crappy, choppy, choppy, crappy app. Whatever you might want to be able, you might be able to the yeah the choppy crop, and do it that way, if you're bold, if you're bold. But I'm just doing it this way just for ease. Ooh, I want to sprinkle some of those in there. All right, some of these already have shadows to it, but I'm just saying I'm adding extras. So give it a little more drop shadow, and let's say I want to sprinkle these up in here. So I'm gonna creative crop. Creative crop. I'm trying to get that one piece off right there and bring that in. And then I can go and move oh, position. I want position and move that behind the M. And let's see. One more. Ooh, let's put those in the corner. Let's get these down. Put these in the corner like so. Crop that down. I like that. Uh, let's move that down a little bit more so we kind of get those flowers in there. And then I'm just going to go and move it behind there. And there's your little like shadow box and you can add more stuff in there. Or if you want to get, go crazy, we'll go to the back if you want to and maybe turn that into a blue. If you want it to look like it has more depth, what I'm going to do is I am going to grab this top M. I'm going to duplicate it. So as you can see, the shadows are coming in from this side. So what I'm going to do is go back in, take my shadows, take the angle and make it go to the other side. So then I can put that on top like so. And now as you can see, it's getting deeper. So your, your box is getting deeper in there like that. And if you want to make it a little bit deeper, make another copy. And then I did somewhere the shadow looks like it's coming up on the interior here. See how it's coming up right there? And then I overlay laid that on top like so. So that gives you like a lot of depth right there. And in a nutshell, that's how you make like a shadow box. And like I said, if you want to get bold and do it with the whole word, um, I would suggest that once you are putting, let's see, my uploads. So say you were doing this whole word right here. Once you put something like this in there, go ahead and group it to the solid text on the back because you're going to want to make this big to do it. So you're going to have to group and move it across when you're doing a whole word to kind of start putting all the little doodaddies in there to see. So like say I put that treble clef in there and now I want to move it over. So what I would do is group it to the solid piece in the back. Not to to the hollow piece, to the to the solid piece. And then move and start working down that way. That way when you start moving it off the page, those things don't disappear. And that's just a tip to try to do that. And if you're on my Facebook, please send me pictures if you do this. I'd love to see them. And that's all for this one. I love you guys. I hope to see you on the next one. Bye, y'all.